Koala Cafe Shay. Hello, welcome back to Koala Cafe Shay. My name is Cafe Shay, and this is the first episode of a new series I'm starting called Vegan Eyes. This series is basically going to be where I take my favorite non vegan dishes and I try and turn them vegan, try to recreate the taste, the smells, the texture, the look of the same dish, but obviously completely plant based. So, today, episode number one, we're going to start with shark and bake. So shark and bake was my favourite dish when I was a child and it was actually the last animal I ate. So shark and bake is a Trinidadian dish which is obviously where my family are from um, and it's literally shark like fried in a bake which is like a fried bread thingy um, in like a sandwich thing with loads of filling. It's really hard to explain it. I'm going to be making the bake first. So with both the shop and the bake, I'm using the Naprima Girls cookbook, but I'm changing it. But like the basis for it is from the Naprima Girl cookbook. I'm making slightly more bake than there is shark, just so that we can bake tomorrow for breakfast and stuff. Um, six people, 420 grams of plain flour. And then we have three teaspoons of baking powder and one heat teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt. You can just use normal salt, but we have Himalayan pink salt, so that's the one we're using. Dip it all in, really. So the instructions are to pour some water in until it forms a soft dough. Until a soft dough is formed. I'm starting with 300 milliliters, so obviously I'll see how much. In the end, I used about 250 milliliters of lukewarm water. And this is what it's looking like currently. I'm just going to add some more water. I'll add two more. It's going to sticky. We don't want that. So now that a soft dish dough is formed, we're going to knead it for about 10 minutes. So once the dough formed is nice and pillowy, you can cover it and leave it to rest for half an hour. That is going to be sitting there for half an hour. In the meantime, I'm going to prepare all the things to go on top of the bacon jar. So for the toppings, I chopped up some iceberg lettuce, I sliced tomatoes and cucumber and got some tinned pineapple chunks and put it on the plate. For the garlic sauce, I don't actually have a recipe and I've never made this before, so I've basically just taken um, about eight cloves of garlic. I crushed it and I put it in the pan with some oil and I'm just gonna let that heat up gently. I'm gonna put it on quite a low medium heat because uh, I don't want it to like boil and burn. Um, and then when it's like gotten a little bit glossy, I think I'm gonna put in some milk and some seasoning as well. I'm going to explain quickly how I have done the shark or tofu shark. Obviously, this is a vegan recipe, so I haven't actually used a shark. What I used instead was tofu. One whole block of tofu, I cut into four slices, which is gonna be four sharks. So in here, you have two tablespoons of green seasoning, two tablespoons of crushed garlic, one tablespoon of salt, and half a tablespoon of pepper sauce. So I've used Nigel's hot scotch pepper sauce which you can buy. I'll link the details to buy that down below. It tastes amazing, perfect spiciness. There's loads of different flavors. I just use the original one for this because I didn't want any like fancy flavors, but you can use different flavors as well. Um, and then I also have two sheets of nori, basically seaweed, um, and it's a sheet, and I just cut it up and mixed it in here as well. I added a little bit of water as well. I think I added like three tablespoons maybe just so that I can actually, you know, get in there. And then I prick the tofu lightly, put it all in there, mix it up and massage the sauce into the tofu so I can get in there, really, really get in there. And I've left it in this container in the fridge for 24 hours. Now it has been about half an hour, so I'm going to take my bake out from its hiding spot. Um, it hasn't risen much, it's just rested. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take my bake and I'm going to separate it into six pieces. For the bakes then, you're going to take the ball of dough and you're just going to 
stretch it out into a circle shape. Um, not too big. We will be returning to our shark, cooking our shark, putting it on the side, and then putting it in the oven just to stay hot while I make the bake um, for our shark. Then we are going to take our nori and we're going to just use one sheet and just cut out little slices so we can place it on top of the tofu. In tofu fish, this is like used as like the skin on the fish, but shark doesn't usually have a skin on it when it's served as shark and bake. However, this additional like blank sheet really helps enhance the fish taste of it, so I still included it, even though it doesn't look exactly how shark would. This is hot, so we are going to be dipping it in some seasoned flour. I seasoned it, seasoned it with, oh, I'm really bad at this. I seasoned it with salt and pepper. Listen to that gorgeous sizzle. Oh, when you turn it over, it's beautiful and brown. I have done the shark and it's in the oven. The oven's not on, it's just warm and it's, you know, making sure it doesn't get cold. I'm about to do the bake. I've done my chef whites because I do not want to get burnt because I've gone burned before by hot oil and it was not done and I'm not doing it again. So we got the whites on. The oil is heating, it's bubbling, making noise. I'm not liking the sound of it, but that's what it's supposed to be doing, so that's good. <laughs> When you put the bake in, you want to put it from the back of the pan towards you and really slowly. If you do it quickly, it's going to splash up on you, which I unfortunately learnt later. And then you're going to leave it in the hot oil until you start to see a little, little light brown on the edges and then you'll know to flip it over. Right. I am almost done. I'm literally just heating up the tamarind sauce and I'm gonna plate everything up and then I'm done. I did burn myself. Yeah, it's a little tiny burn there when I was putting in the penultimate bake. It just it splashed up and my hand is good. <sighs> that would be one, two, three. Burns from cooking. We love. <laughs> I'm actually so clumsy. I'm so clumsy. I'm gonna put all the sauces out and everything. I'm gonna see if I can I'm gonna put this under cold water a little bit longer. The kitchen is a complete mess. My hand hurts from the burn. So I'm done. I'm done completely. I'm gonna show you what it looks like now at the end. And then that is it. I put everything out like a buffet and for the sauces we had ketchup, barbecue, tamarind, garlic, green seasoning and pepper sauce. Overall, it was incredibly similar to actual shark and bake. When I had the tofu fish on its own, it tasted maybe a little bit more like flying fish and shark, but it still had that very fishy taste, which I was really pleased about. Thank you so much for coming to the first episode of Veganize. I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye.